All right, now we can get down to the really fun stuff. I'm going to walk you through setting up our lab in GNS3. Until now, if you wanted to learn Juniper and the Junos OS, you had to get in front of a physical Junos device. Well, that has posed a problem for many people trying to learn Juniper because everyone doesn't have access to Juniper devices. You can go and buy used Junos devices on eBay, but they still tend to be pretty pricey. Well, now we have a solution. With GNS3, you can simulate Junos devices pretty easily and reliably. The only thing that's really going to limit you here is the amount of RAM you have on your machine to run these virtual machines. So, first of all, we need to download VirtualBox. This is what we're going to use to run the virtual machines. And I'll include the links uh, that I'm going to show you here. Um, but basically, we're using very specific versions of GNS3 and VirtualBox uh, so that we make sure that everything that we're going to do is going to work right here. So for VirtualBox, we're using version 4.3.30. So I'm going to go ahead and download that here. And uh, basically, I've tried several different versions and uh, combinations between VirtualBox and GNS3. And I've already kind of done the troubleshooting for you to, to get everything worked out um, and working on the appropriate versions. So once this finishes downloading here, we'll go ahead and start the installation process. And we're going to want to do this before we download GNS3. If you already have GNS3 installed on your machine, um, you may want to change the version for these labs to work because some of these things are not going to work on different versions. All right, so we're going to walk through some of these steps. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let it create its icons and shortcuts. This is just telling you that your internet connection may go down while you're doing this, and that's okay. All right, and we want to install. And this usually goes pretty quick. And there we go. Now we have VirtualBox installed. We'll let it start. Make sure everything runs. There we go. Okay, so we have VirtualBox installed. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And now we're going to go and download GNS3. With GNS3, we're using version 1.4.0 beta 3. Um, the reason we're using this particular version is because it has the options that we need uh, to make everything look right uh, once we power on our Juniper devices. So we're going to go ahead and install that and I will just fast forward so you don't have to wait. Okay, downloads done. Now, GNS3, if you haven't installed this before, it's going to install several things here. Um, it's going to install some of these drivers, Wireshark, SolarWinds, uh, uh, QEMU. It's going to install several things, so I'll walk you through all of that. All right, so this is saying that I already have WinPCAP installed on my machine. Normally, you do, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and let it uh, finish all this so you can see the whole process. All right, and it'll pop up several windows while it's installing, um, asking you to install these different pieces of uh, the software. Basically, there are other drivers and other softwares that support the environment in GNS3. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to install Wireshark, and I'm going to say yes. Agree. Next. All that's okay. Uh, we already have WinPCAP installed, so we don't need to do that. And most of these installs do go pretty quick. All right, so it says completed. We can click next. We don't want to run it. So we'll just let GNS3 continue to install. 
And like I said, uh, I've, I've picked these, these particular versions uh, of the software because we want everything to look right and to be as close to an actual Juniper device as possible. And this version of GNS3 actually gives us the ability to um, name our interfaces the way they're supposed to be named so everything looks correct as far as uh, the interfaces in Junos. So this is just asking me for my email address for SolarWinds. So I'm just going to put that in here. I'm sure that's so they can send me lots of junk mail. All right, so we click next, accept the terms, next. It's taking its time. There we go. Went pretty quick. Then GNS3 resumes. And uh, after you finish that part, Solar Winds just kind of opens up here. I just close that out. All right. So now it looks like GNS3 is installed and, oops, click no. All right, I'm gonna let GNS3 start. All right. Uh, on this, on the set, on the initial setup, uh, what I want you to do is click local and click next, and we don't want to add any images right now. So go ahead and click finish, and then click OK, and then we're going to cancel that because we don't really want to save anything yet. So there's GNS3. We're going to head and close. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close that. And what we need to do is open VirtualBox so we can set up our virtual machines. So I will also include with this course um, an image file for you to, uh, to use for your Juniper virtual machines. Uh, basically, I'm using a virtual or uh, it's, it's a VSRX that has uh, been working well for me in these labs. So first of all, um, if you don't have WinRAR installed on your PC, uh, go ahead and install that because we're going to need to unpack the uh, Juniper VSRX package, which is this one right here. The Junos VSRX 12.1 x47 d20.7, uh, and this is an OVA. So we're going to use WinRAR to go ahead and open that. And we're just going to extract. And you can put the, the extracted uh, files wherever you want. I have a folder called Virtual Machines. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do that. All right. Now we have the files that we need to create our virtual machine. So click New in VirtualBox. I'm going to name this the SRX one and under type we want to select BSD because if you remember when we talked about earlier uh, the Junos OS is based on the free BSD kernel so that is an option here and we're gonna go ahead and select 64-bit alright and each one of these VMs don't give it any less than uh, one gig of RAM you might start having problems with your, your Juniper image if you don't give it enough RAM. So I'm giving each of mine uh, one gig of RAM. All right, so we're gonna come down here and we're gonna select the option, use an existing virtual hard drive file, okay? So the files that we just extracted from the vsrx.ova uh, package, uh, that folder is now right here and it contains this file, the VMDK file that we need. So we're going to select that file and we're going to click create. Okay, so this is telling me I've already named a folder even though I don't have any virtual machines. I've already named a folder uh, VSRX1. Okay, so I'm just going to change the name here to 01. You can name it whatever you like. 